All right, I'm gonna show you how to use the focus off. Uh, this, this video may be a little loud, so it's because of my fan on my laptop. All right, so when you open up focus off, it, sh it should look like this. Now, I will just show you how to edit a Pokemon. You can edit anything on here, anything at all about your game. But just to be safe, I'll just edit the Pokemon. So you go to number one, you go to edit. And this should come up. And you can choose your Pokemon. You edit. I'll just edit Abra. You can choose what item it's holding. You can uh, click original name so it has its original name. Met at level one. Met in Kingly Town. You can change right here. Country. I put English. You can max out all the IVs, the EVs, and their uh, Pokemon contest stats. You know their moves. I just put absorb with 10 PP and yep. And for I can choose uh, one date received up here. So I've done this. So I press OK. Um, wait a second. Okay. So I have it right here. It should say Abra. Cause that's what it's called. My camera sucks. You can't see it. Alright, so go up here and go to it says ARDS code output. Click that. Then this huge list should come up about all our crap. Uh, you just click what you've edited. Like, say you've edited uh, your ID, you click your ID or score or gender. But since I only edited uh, party Pokemon number one, I'll just click that. So this code will only affect your part of number one. Click on anything else, you'll probably break your game. Press save file. Uh, go down here, type whenever you want. I'll just put hi. Save it. Then go up to here and press cancel. Then you should be back here again. And go to open. Then go down here to the file type. Go to other files. And all your Pokestaff files should come up. And you should, you should create a folder to save them all in. should save it all in the same folder where Pokestaff is. So now you have that open up. Go to Action Replay Code List. This should come up. Now, you're going to drag it into My Code List. In Give me a second. Sorry, it's kind of full. No, go away. Alright. Now, you should drag your, uh, your save file, which is high. Drag it into my code list. Wait for it to put it in. And the thing should come up called Pokesav. Open it up. It'll have Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl inside. Open up Pokemon Pearl if you have that. Pokemon Diamond if you have that. It should say Pokesav Generated. Right click, press rename to whatever it is. I'll just call it Hi. And that is my Abra that knows Absorb. Alright, so um, if you don't have. Okay, close this. If you don't have Pokemon Pearl or Pokemon Diamond in your My Code list, then go up to Subscriptions, open up Code Junkies US, look for Pokemon Pearl, and then drag it down here. Once you've done that, you should have Pokemon Pearl in My Code list. Open that up, and you'll have all the codes in there. So what you do is, you go to Pokestaff, you want to open Pokemon Diamond or Pokemon Pearl, drag high into Pokemon Pearl, and in Pokemon Pearl, it should say hi now, what you've called it. Now, get your action replay, ordered up and everything, so let me get that. should be like this. Now plug in your action replay with the cord it should have come with. It plugs right into the back of it.
Now you should have it on Autotouch PC. If you don't, uh, this will not come up. You have to go click the, the little mouse in the corner up top right of the touch screen. If you do, it'll just be like this. It will say, uh, the last thing it will say is listing contents. Up here, down here, it'll say updating. So what you do is you go up here and you'll have your Nintendo DS list right here. This is everything that's in your action replay. Uh, look for Pokemon Pearl or Pokemon Diamond, whatever you're using. I'm using Pokemon Pearl. So open this up, wait for it to load, and when it loads up, it'll show the list of every code you have in your action replay for this game. Alright, so what you do is you go to My Code List. Now they should be exactly the same, except for your Pokestab that you dragged into it. So what you do is you'll close it. You don't have to, but I, it makes it easier. Then gra uh, grab the whole Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon Diamond game you have, and drag it just into this list up here. Right here. Just drag it. This will say, this game won't exist. You wish to overwrite. Press yes. So take a minute or two and it will delete whatever game you dragged in and it will rewrite it as the one that was in your my code list so it will be exactly the same except now I'll have the high code which is my Abra okay now you should look down and it will say your code right here it says high and you have your code alright now unplug your action replay Go to home. So come up. While still on, you um, you pick out action replay. And then put in put one diamond or put one pearl. It will come up and it will say put one pearl. Now go to press the star button down here and it will load up the list now your code will be at the bottom see it says hi now press this press A on it and I'll have a check mark beside it now when you press start and you start your game uh, whatever Pokemon that was first in your party will now be this Abra that you created that will now absorb and you can do this with any Pokemon you can even change what abilities, abilities they have like you can make a spirit tomb with Wonder Guard if you wanted to. And that's pretty much it.